affected by net neutrality as an issue, an issue that may be important to people personally, but certainly is also important to the library as an institution. Um, Lisa, you what sort of the, specifically. What maybe was the impetus it. for it? Was uh, ALA sends out stuff, and I got th I think I got about four different notices about you know going to your congressperson about and the federal commission about net neutrality, mm -hmm. and I think it's a neutral position. It's nonpartisan, and the input net neutrality. It's passed, mm -hmm. it, so it's it's gone. But what mm -hmm. why what mm -hmm. I what it's not gone. <laughs> and get to that. I mean, okay. net neutrality is now no longer the deal. Except that it is, it is on the verge of being possibly being overturned. Exactly. In the Senate, hmm. it's currently one vote short of being overruled. So the but the issue was, but thanks mm -hmm. for the update. Was that <coughs> would we ever use our website for? issues and put a notice on there uh, right. about a topic such as that impacts libraries yeah. and libraries to mm -hmm. ask our patrons. That's a bigger issue. That mm -hmm. was what the issue was about. And that was just an example mm -hmm. of an issue that might throw up and where they might go and just a little bit of information about net neutrality. Yeah. I think uh, I had a similar conversation with, I think I had it with you, Heather. You did. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, you know, similarly, it was timely. And my personal take is, um, I think we should. I think it's um, consistent with the mission of distributing and acquiring knowledge as a library. And I think it's uh, entirely appropriate to convey knowledge of public affairs that, in our judgment, impacts the role of knowledge generally in society mm -hmm. to our patrons. And I think, uh, at least from my perspective, I think the board should set a clear policy that that is part of the function of the library, is to educate our patrons about matters of public import. Yeah, I would certainly be comfortable with saying, here's an issue. This is how it affects the library, mm -hmm. and you should know this. I don't know whether I, I would feel comfortable necessarily saying, Send a letter. go call your congressman mm -hmm. or but you your could senator. put a link as if you want. Yeah, but I, I have a real problem, problem with okay. uh, this. Um, I, I personally would be against it just because I feel like there's so many, so many issues and it, yes, there are some that certainly impact libraries directly, but I just feel like it just smacks of um, us getting into politics. And I just, I think that so many things, like think of like um, banning books and things like that. I just think, I think this this should be sort of a, a space where, where um, the political is in general just not part of our, it's certainly part of our website. I mean, sure, people can come here and learn about anything, about history and about how government works. And I think that's wonderful, but I just, I do not, feel comfortable asking patrons in any sort of way to take an advocacy role on pretty much anything. I just don't think that's our, I don't think that's right. I I, so if, I, if it comes to some sort of vote, I would be against it. I would suggest, though, that, that you can inform and indicate that if you wish to take a position mm -hmm. or action on this, here are the places where you could express that view. That's not telling people what to do. It's mm -hmm. informing them about the options that may have an impact on what the library can right. provide to them in the future. That's a very fine line, though. Yeah. I think uh, it's you know if you if you wish to take action, you're already saying something that maybe you don't want to say. I I don't know. I kind of agree with Jenny here. But you could also put here are resources if you want additional information. Maybe some, maybe that would be a, be, even a, it's a better way of like saying the, it. The, um, I mean, like the things we get from the Library Association. Like, I don't know if you like if you want to learn more about libraries, maybe just a link to that mm -hmm. publication. Mm -hmm. I don't know what mm -hmm. that would even be, be permissible for. Well, that would you be comfortable with saying, like, here's an issue, and, and there aren't many mm -hmm. they're not, mm -hmm. other than there aren't net many. neutrality <laughs> that I would say, like, I really go mm -hmm. right at 
libraries directly. Mm -hmm. um, since we do so much of our research and information gathering over the mm -hmm. internet. Mm -hmm. But would you be comfortable in saying, here's an issue and here's how it could possibly affect libraries? And that far, is that far comfortable? Is that close? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm sure. Because here's what the ALA put up there. Well, because I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, mean yeah. I personally feel very strongly that net, net neutrality should exist, but yet I very strongly believe in what Jenny says and that we have to reflect the whole community in Wilmette and that in, in, in Wilmette there may be people that have differing opinions about what how they feel about net neutrality. And, and that's an much, unfortunate... Yeah. Pardon? No, no, go on. And, and so as a result, we have to reflect the whole community, and yet I also think there is a fine line that we have to figure out what it is, and we can try to do that tonight, where we mm -hmm. can certainly put something on the website or wherever is appropriate that doesn't, as I think Jan said, and you said, not to, not to advocate one position versus another, but at least to let people know that how yeah. net neutrality mm -hmm. might affect right. their use of the library. And then if we can do that without advocating, then we've, we've, we've right. protected the library, but also respected the community. And educated Sometimes them. I think with issues, and I don't know, maybe it could be a section of our website, that people don't necessarily have the opportunity to take the time to find out how something, what something actually means. Because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes there's so much noise in terms of the mm -hmm. political yeah. conversation that it's sort of hard to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. And if there's a way that the library can help inform people, because as I say, I'm not super big on saying, go call your congressman. I just think that's sort of... I think that's to too political. Yeah, yeah I do. I think one of the things to keep in mind, though, is that online use of library services and resources is much, much bigger than we anticipated, than we ever anticipated that it would be. Hundreds of thousands of patron links to other services mm -hmm. could be impacted by the proposed changes. So it's, it is important to allow users to understand what impact this could have in their access to resources that they use through the library's connections. That doesn't necessarily mean taking an advocacy position on one side or the other, but it does mean informing them so that they understand that if they are significant, if they're a significant user of a resource, it's going to become more difficult to be available to them because of a change in policy, that they have that information while there's still an opportunity to express whatever point of view they have on that question. So that's really the issue that I see is important. We have a phenomenal amount of online use of library resources, and that's going to be impacted however this issue gets addressed. Maybe, if I may, did you want to say something? Okay. Um, I think, I mean, the only issue that really matters is kind of net neutrality. It's kind of the only one that seems, like, relevant. Um, but I, in, you know, the American Library Association, we pay for a membership, the Illinois Library Association, they're very clearly advocates speaking on our behalf. So uh, what maybe makes sense is that if the board wanted to be very clear that our board is taking a position on the issue, and we simply conveyed that we took a position on the issue, it kind of informs people like, hey, this is the import in our judgment. This is where we came down. We can sort of skip the call your congressman stuff. Uh, but to say, and I would suggest, you know, we should take a position, given that there'll be legislative action on it, and it's not, the issue's not going away. Um, I think it's, you know, like as you say, it's fundamental to how we distribute knowledge. So I'd, I'd suggest that we do take a position consistent with the Illinois Library Association, the American Library Association, and that we convey that we've taken that position. That's certainly one approach. One of the only issues I have with that is the timeliness of our decision making. Who would vote for it? Yeah, and who would maintain that 
as to information, like whose job would that be to make the choices? And um, I just feel like right now things are pretty much anything can be politicized um, and is or seen that way by people. And so I just think, you know, it's more important that we just maybe we're a little bit of a political free zone. And as I say, you can come learn about anything. You can get a book by somebody you agree with or even somebody you don't agree with. But I just, I, I'm a little bit hesitant for us to be pushing any sort of legislation or pretty much anything. That's just my, that's my feeling. I'm not saying, you know, that I, that's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. there. Because it's going to come up during the strategic planning because I think yeah. what you see is a lot of the patients would like to discuss issues mm -hmm. at the library and have resources here and it's a place to come and learn mm -hmm. about those But discussions. that's different than putting something on the website saying, you know, pay attention to this or we think this should go a certain way. But if you look at this, but if you look at what the a ALA says, what is net new? Why is net? What is net neutrality? Right. Why is net neutrality an issue? Why does net neutral neutrality matter to libraries? Yeah, well, I, yeah, that's you're right. That's just sharing mm -hmm. information. That's just general information. Right. Would you? But have not a call your congressman. No, I no, would. I, I, no, I would not. Just resources for additional information. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, with links to that. I mean, we don't. We're not in the position to tell somebody else what to do about no, it, but no, I agree yeah. with, Yeah, because it is, it is one of those things that, again, like with all the noise, it's like, yeah, I know I should think about this. Oh, what does it mean? Give me a page on it, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Well, yeah. you, you can also ask problems, the question. about timeliness of things. Like, okay, I'm sorry, Jan, I interrupted Oh, that's you. okay. You, you can also ask the question, are we likely to have somebody come into the library and say, why didn't you let us know what this was? Mm -hmm. um, is that something that might happen. If so, if we feel that there are going to be people who might say that, then we probably should have preempted that with mm -hmm. some kind of information that they could look and at. And most people don't pay attention to after it affects their pocket. Exactly. And then they realize yeah. what has happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> but well, because we have so much people doing research, uh, it's important, I think. Yeah. So I would come to it that way. I guess the takeaway I'm, I'm coming with this is if we have an issue that is really so right on the nose that and affects, affects libraries, libraries like, yeah, like research or whatever, that just put the facts up there with mm -hmm. resources. We should consider putting together, particularly if our association, the Illinois Library Association, the American Library Association, have already put together a fact. Here's what the issue is. Here's here's what it means. That we could put this issue together, and then maybe put it on our website. But I, you know, so maybe what we should do is try to stay on top of these issues. Mm -hmm. And if there's something that comes, then ask Heather or you know, we've got a partner of people who are in communications and stuff. Put together that information, and then at that point, maybe. If it's not too slow, we should, you know, have some people talk about it and put it, consider putting it on the website um, mm -hmm. as an information item. Here's mm -hmm. here's something that could affect, you know, mm -hmm. and here's how it does affect. But really rely on what the ALA mm -hmm. and the ILA mm -hmm. are just, putting together. I would together. just post what the ALA said or the ILA yeah. has said source. Mm -hmm. It stays consistent that so way. The message the stays source consistent. source and here yeah. additional yeah. resources. Right, and we're not putting our spin on it. Yeah, just, yeah it's, we can but inform I, without advocating, it. basically, but I think. I don't think we yeah. should do it for every issue that comes, you know, huh. I mean, because the ALA takes positions on well, everything. No, this was the only one that this made is, this sense is, yeah. based on the impact. Yeah. Well, and perhaps the communications committee could play a role in this as well. But I, yeah. I would say that this is going to come up more frequently in the environment we're in mm -hmm. right now. Um, and, I, you know, this came up with the, um, when the immigration ban went into effect, mm -hmm. this came up. And, and um, ALA sent out a diversity and inclusion statement, and libraries started putting, and school districts started putting mm -hmm. out diversity and inclusion statements, you know, and um, I know Skokie put one up. So that's another issue that isn't necessarily specific just to libraries, but it is something mm -hmm. that people are talking about and they're concerned about. Um, so, 
you know, it's it's a tough thing to wrestle with, and and that's why I wanted you guys to discuss it because <laughs> Thank you, it's, yeah. it's, there's not there aren't easy answers, yeah. but I think that having some mechanism to address these would be uh, helpful and so I you know, think, sensible moving forward. So I'm getting yeah. the sense that we'd like to sort of pay attention to this issue and do some tentative thinking about it, but mm -hmm. but as I say, we strongly rely on the ALA and the ILA mm -hmm. to be sort of a lot of our information. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it gathered. should really be things that are very pertinent to libraries yeah. and yeah. not get right. into broader social issues at this point. Right. So, okay. Mm -hmm. This probably will not be the last time that we will discuss this issue, but thanks for taking the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, here's another one. The electric car charging yeah. station oh. on the Wilmot Public Life uh, yep. property. Um, so, the village wants to know if we would dedicate one of our um, parking spots to putting in a car charging station, which is, my understanding is, of.